Just when I thought that Ultra Boost had completely cooled off, they go and hook me once again. With what I can surmise is a European only release in women's sizing, Ultra Boost is back at it again with the Ultra Boost suede and leather gray and mint colorway. Retailing for 179.95 euros, this Ultra Boost suede and leather gray and mint is just that. It's a suede and leather Ultra Boost in a gray and mint colorway. If you are familiar with the Ultra Boost, and by now I can't imagine a lot of you out there aren't, then you know what this shoe is all about. It has your standard black continental rubber stretch web outsole and a burnt orange dark red maroon torsion system plug. It's on your standard, thick, comfortable, bouncy white boost midsole. And your one piece prime knit upper is basically constructed the exact same way with a little bit of differences for this special suede and leather colorway. You will find your suede on the front of the shoe in a pseudo mud guard in a beige color wrapping around the front of the shoe from the lateral to medial side and it returns in that same colorway on the back of the shoe, taking place of the heel cup heel counter with an aqua blue colored Ultra Boost debossed into the suede. You will find a darker gray suede on the back of the shoe leading from the heel cup heel counter to the top of the back of the shoe. And you will find a even darker color, almost a charcoal dark leather on the cage of the shoe. The three stripes are in that mint colorway, which can also be found on the lace tips or aglets of your flat white laces. On the front of the shoe, outlining the toe box area, you find a different shade of gray tape. And this is on your one piece prime knit upper, which towards the front of the shoe and the sides has a honeycomb like pattern with perforations or speed holes and then towards the back of the shoe on the sides, as well as on your tongue, it transitions to a different mesh-like pattern, also with speed holes. On your white tongue, you find the return of that mint colorway on the tag, where you find the Adidas trefoil logo and Adidas branding in that aqua blue. As mentioned previously, this seems to be a European only release and is in women's sizing. So if you are a man and want to wear this shoe, size accordingly. To me, that's a whole size bigger. I'm a nine in US men's and a 10 in women's fits pretty much true to size for me. They've released three or four different colorways of this suede and leather pack and they're okay. Reds and blues and blacks, etc. But this was the one that caught my attention from the very start and I had been waiting and searching and looking for it and I'm so glad I found it. Because when you have as many Ultra Boosts as I do, the shoe needs to be special. It needs to be unique. It has to have something that really pops and screams and grabs me by the throat and asks me, have I already answered the devil? Because then I'll buy that shoe. And this Ultra Boost suede and leather in the Grayman colorway, it's just that shoe. So what do you guys think about the current state of Ultra Boost? What do you think about this suede and leather pack? And do you think Ultra Boosts have completely cooled off or just taking a respite? I've been a huge fan of the Ultra Boost silhouette, and while I don't rock with the 2019, I'm always down with a 1 to 2 to 3 to 4.0 colorway, mix, mash, innovation, etc. So, Adidas, wow me, huh? So, to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Just Chill to the next episode.